Come on in. We have a fun surprise for you. This is the video right here. I'm Carly Carlson, and I got introduced to Dr. Rutan about six years ago, actually, on my journey with infertility. I just couldn't believe how awesome she was, how caring she was, and how relatable she was. It felt like I was going to see my best friend. And then I remember walking out my first appointment with her and her looking me in the eye and saying, we're going to do this, you're going to have a baby. I think what, what sets her apart from other providers that I've ever seen is starting with a hug or like a personal touch and just sitting down and spending time with me. I felt like those are the things that Dr. Rutan does that makes me know that she cares about me and she really does respect my time too. Somehow, some way, Dr. Rutan makes you feel like you are her only patient when she sees you. Uh, you know, coming into my 20-week appointment, um, being so excited that, you know, you get to find out the gender and when we found out that, that there was no heartbeat, you know, she, she cried with me. <laughs> I think that was something that sets her apart from anybody else because I don't think many doctors would sit there and have tears and, and hug their patients and make them feel like they care so much about you. That meant the world to me. And after we went to the hospital and were induced, I looked at the door and I see Dr. Rutan coming in with basketball shorts and a sweatshirt and, you know, it's almost midnight on 3rd of July and I think to myself, like, she has her family, she's not even supposed to be here right now, I don't think, and um, she came there for me and I remember telling her, you're an angel, because it's almost as if when she got there everything just happened and it was okay. I trust Dr. Rutan so much with my care and I think how she built trust with me was, um, you know, first connecting with me on a personal level, being empathetic, um, and having respect for me. Trust comes when you feel comfortable and when you know that they're there for the right reasons. And I've just built that level of trust and respect with her. So to Dr. Rutan, I know that thank you doesn't even cut it uh, with what we've been through together. Just thank you for everything you've done. Thank you for the beautiful life that you've helped me with and that I now have today because of you. So this is why I come to work every day. This is what makes it all worth it. I go into every room and like I want to get to know the people that are behind the door. And that is what is rewarding to me as a provider is that when I get to see those folks back either in a month or two weeks or a week from now, or if I just get to see them on an annual basis, you know, it makes it very easy to take care of people when you, when you know them so well. You know, every time I deliver a baby, it's like the first baby I ever delivered. And I feel like it's a real privilege and a real joy to be able to experience that, that moment of transition. It's also a great privilege to be there in the sorrowful times. Being able to spend time with people is key. And I try to make each person feel like they were able to tell me what they, what they came to tell me. I think that's how it's accomplished, is creating that relationship and finding out all of those little facts about people. Thank you. Dear Dr. Rutan, thank you from the bottom of my heart for everything you've done for me and continue to do for the community. I'm not sure where I'd be without everything you have given to me. Thank you for being kind, empathetic, and most of all, listening to me. You are one in a million to me and many others. You're simply the best and don't forget that. Hope to see you soon and congratulations on your accomplishments so far. <laughs> Their kids are so cute. I've enjoyed all the time that I had to spend with Carly and I just want to thank her for taking the time to say those things because you don't know that you've done a good job until people tell you. So that was, I'm very grateful for her to, to take the opportunity to, to say those things. Um, it like means a lot to me.